Hi. Um, so, mm, I never know. Why am I? Uh, there we go. So, hi. Um, hmm. I don't really have anything to say. I just wanted to make a video. So, basically, I'm just going to talk about whatever comes to mind. <clears throat> I got this sticker from the Human Rights Campaign. It says, The mission of the Human Rights Campaign is embodied in the image on the front of this sticker. We envision an America where lesbian and gay people are ensured of their basic equal rights. By placing this sticker where others can see it, you are helping spread the message of equality for all. Thank you for supporting HRC. So, <clears throat> this is like their logo. My voice is like messed up today for some reason. <clears throat> what the hell? God. There's my water. Okay. So basically, yeah, that's pretty cool. I also got a t-shirt that says marriage is so gay. I think I told you that I ordered that, but yeah, I got it finally. <clears throat> what else? I dropped a class. I dropped 19th century because um, we had stupid assignments and I hate Hegel. I think Hegel's stupid, dumb slut. So I have one less class to worry about, which means it won't be a stress because I've been really, 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 really stressed lately and I haven't gotten a chance to do anything. I've got so many emails in my inbox, like not on Facebook, like in, I have messages on Facebook, I have emails in my regular email account that haven't been answered. I have to make a resume for my job. I got these new headphone things. Um, oh, they're so squishy. I just love that. They're like squishy. Yeah, pretty rad. Pretty rad. What else? Well, today I am very busy. I have, I'm going to, I'm going to campus today, but I'm not going to class, but I'm going to school because I have to do math homework and stuff like that. I'm meeting Hannah at 2.30, then I'm going to counseling at 3.30, and then going to swim at 4.30, and then get home, go running, yoga. I really enjoy yoga. I've never done it before. I just started doing it. And I really like it. Um, it's working my back muscles. It's kind of weird. Like I, I'm apparently a lot more flexible in my legs and arms than I thought I was. Lucky for you, Chris. Um, no, just kidding. No, I'm not kidding. Um, but like, so the thing that's, like, really been sore is my back. Like, like not sore, like, bad, but, like, good sore. Like, it's, like, like they're, it's helping the muscles. It's, like, toning the back muscles. It's, like, really weird, though. It's, like, these are muscles I didn't think I even had, and it's, like, they hurt so bad, and I always have to, like, stretch my back, and it's, like, it's kind of fun. But I like it. It's fun. It's a cool thing to do. So, I look really pale. I'm, I'm really, really pale. Uh, but I look even paler than usual right now. I look kind of dead, actually. <laughs> That's really attractive. Yes, the dead look. It's very in right now. And, um, I was talking to Travis, and he was like, he was looking at this email, and it was for, like, a conference, a philosophy conference on May 29th, and... He was just like, oh, damn it, it's May 29th. Like, I'm going to be on, like, ecstasy and acid and all this stuff on May 29th. And I was like, how do you have that planned out? And he's like, oh, it's my birthday. And I was like, oh. And then he's like, yeah, I'm going to wake up really early in the morning. A Latino boy is going to be standing at my doorstep. And he's going to come in and we're going to fuck for four hours. And I was like, whoa, Travis. I love that boy so much. But he has no censor none no censor and he's like stop being such a prude and i'm like oh my god shut your mouth like seriously uh, he's really entertaining i think you would love him because i think i love him basically and i was like well we would never get married because you're gay 
And he's like, oh, we would get married. We just wouldn't have sex. <laughs> and I was like, oh, it's nice to know. He just, he just is really cool. I love him so much. So, yeah. Um, anyway, yeah. What else? What else? What else? What else? Well, I talked for five minutes, but I, you, I watched your video, but I don't remember really what you said. Um, and I think I responded to a lot of it. I drew a little heart on my finger. That's what that is, but it kind of disappeared. What else? It's the weekend coming up. What do I have planned? Oh, yes. Yes. I just have like a Doctor Who moment. Like he always like spazzes out and gets like, he's like, like gets really excited about something and he's just like oh my god that's kind of what I just did okay anyway so I tomorrow night I'm going to play which is a uh, symphony orchestra they're coming to Eugene to the Holt Center um, it's a symphony orchestra that plays like video game music they play like Mario and like Final Fantasy and like Zelda and like all these like scores from video games and um, they're like a legit orchestra, and um, I'm really excited to see that. I'm really, really excited because um, I'm taking my mom with me. She hates video games. She thinks they're ridiculous, and I'm hoping that this will like open her eyes a little bit. She'll be able to appreciate at least the musical qualities that video games have. I love video game music. I kind of am hoping that they play some stuff from the new Final Fantasy. I know they probably won't because it's not in their, like, uh, whatever you call it, their thing their thing you know the thing like they're like the list of their their set their their set I don't know but it's not like w what they typically play and it just came out so I can understand why they wouldn't play it but like I've been listening to Sarah's theme like forever because it's like the best song I've ever heard in my life and like oh my god it's so good so good oh my god also did you hear about this thing like I just heard it on the radio like they had this Lane Bryant commercial, and Lane Bryant's, like, lingerie for, like, plus-size women, and they were gonna play the commercials, like, on ABC and Fox last night or something like that, and they didn't, because apparently, like, there was too much cleavage. I was like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, that's, like, discrimination. Like, have you ever seen Victoria's Secret commercials? Like, like, their boobs are hanging out all over the place. Like, I just think it's so, like, discriminatory and stupid, but... That's me. Um, I hope people complain. I really do look like a zombie today. What is with that? And I'm going to Starbucks in like... Maybe 15 minutes or so, give or take. I'm going to get Passion Shaken Iced Tea. Because, you know, I can't drink dairy because I'm vegan now. Great. I'm not vegan because I care about the animals. I mean, I do care about the animals, don't get me wrong. But I don't think vegans fully understand the situation and fully understand that, like, even, like, soybeans and crap that they're eating is damaging the planet and stuff like that. So, um, it's like being vegan isn't really, like, helping anything like it's just not and if you buy organic produce and organic like meats and stuff like that you're not really like these are you know coming from places where they're not you know like having like chicken farms or whatever you know like it's like not like that so it's just stupid I mean if you don't like like Hannah's vegetarian but not because she cares about animals and is stupid and ignorant um but because she just doesn't like the taste of meat and I'm vegan because apparently it's healthier but that means I can't eat dairy, which means I can't get my usual coffee, which means I have to get tea. Oh my god, it's like, oh my god. I'm only going to be vegan until um, swimsuit season's over. And then I'm like not going to be vegan ever again in my life, okay? Um, so yeah, that was 9 minutes and 27, 28, 29, 30 seconds of crap. But I hope you enjoyed it. Peanut you. See, that's a peanut, kind of. That's the ugliest heart I've ever seen in my life. Are you kidding me? What the hell?